Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! It's time to rise and sing the praise of Jesus! Alleluia! Alleluia! It's time to rise, to rise, to sing, to, sing, to, shout, to shout, to bring him all your heart. He'll do the bigger part, if you will only make a start. It's another wonderful day to glorify our great God through our daily inspirational devotional that serves as our spiritual gateway in route to our priorities of the day. Friends, this is your 7 Minutes with God, and I am your online evangelist, Brother Noy Gonzaga, happily making myself available to be God's mouthpiece this very moment. Was there a time in your life wherein a problem becomes a solution to a future problem? Well, unique, isn't it? Well, that is our focus of inspiration this morning. Our biblical gem for meditation is found in James 1 verse 2 and it says, Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. Well, dear friends, the Bible is always vocal. The trials sharpen our connection with God. Challenges makes us strong Christians and tribulations polishes our faith in God. The title of our devotional this morning is The Blessing of a Curse. You did not hear me wrong. It is the Blessing of a Curse. Well, dissecting this little um, title that we have, you may wonder why it is argumentative and confusing. Imagine blessing and cursing all in just one title. Well, let me take you back to my very own experience. Again, this is a true story that happened to your humble online evangelist. A year ago, I felt symptoms like I am always thirsty, I am always hungry, and I always urinate. Well, at first, I tried to just overlook these symptoms, but later on, my body seemed to be uneasy and I just felt that something is not normal within my system. So I submitted myself for an executive checkup. And I was so downhearted because I was diagnosed to have diabetes. Or to complete it, diabetes mellitus. My blood glucose level floats to as high as 170 and 180. As a nurse, I know that uncontrolled diabetes can be very hard to manage and it can have many other disorders that may end up with optimum discomfort to the patient. Add to that, when you pair diabetes with hypertension or high blood pressure, it can be fatal in worsened situation, meaning it can result to death. So after seeing my doctor, I felt a little bit paranoid. Yes, I was afraid that I immediately and abruptly reorganized my diet and nutrition. I turned 180 degrees from my normal diet, which is full of sweets, full of rice, and full of other things that is compounded with sugar, meaning a complete change. It was hard at first, but I proved to myself that with determination and purpose-driven thoughts, one can make a sterling act in the name of health. Using now black rice and a total ban on sweet desserts, including soft drinks and commercial juices, cakes, pizzas, and other of this kind, well, all I can say is, I am a man on a mission. After two months, I successfully downgraded my blood glucose level from 180 to 110 up to 120, which is already normal, and such a change was lauded by my attending physician. As I exited from the doors clinic, uh, from the doctor's clinic, I mean, 
I asked the Lord, Why me, Lord? I am a teacher. I am a nurse. I am a health lecturer. And now I cannot do what is opposite to what I teach. How can I evangelize people about health if I myself, I am not healthy? This puzzled me, and I even blamed God at times, asking, Why, Lord, amidst doing your work and your mission, I still end up diabetic and in danger of resulting to hypertensive crisis? Well, at least at the end of the day, I was able to bring back things to normality because I strive to let it happen with the help of the Lord. Four months later, my wife being a frontliner, tested positive for SARS-CoV virus otherwise known as COVID-19. And because we sleep together and cohabited often, I tested positive as well. But don't get me wrong, that was already three months ago. Okay? Now, my greatest fear arrives during the time as it is very common that people with comorbidity usually end up struggling to get well with, with COVID. Oftentimes, people with comorbidity land in the ICU. At that moment, after holding the phone, receiving the confirmatory call that I tested positive, fear took a stronghold on me. I was brought to a nearby isolation area and I was confined with my wife in a room. We stayed there for 20 days. And to my amazement, I did not manifest any symptoms, not even the minor ones. How come? There were even no times of headaches and dizziness whatsoever. In short, I am a typical asymptomatic COVID patient. Today, as I am meditating upon this experience, I concluded that my resistance during the time that I was quarantined was so firm and high because of my change of lifestyle and diet in reaction to my diabetic condition before. In short, I became healthy because I fought diabetes with a healthy lifestyle. That is the very reason why that lifestyle saved me from worsening symptoms of this dreaded pandemic. While others thought that having diabetes can be a great gamble when you will have COVID, why? Because it is a comorbidity. But on my part, diabetes became my wake-up call, my gentle reminder, my greatest help to build a lifestyle that will be, that will be ready to face COVID-19. Yes, dear friends, God used diabetes to prepare me to face a greater illness called COVID-19. Had it not been for the changes I made from a diabetic diagnosis, I could have faced the pandemic with greater symptoms at hand due to unhealthy lifestyle. This is a classic example that we should not blame God right away for some problems that happen in our lives. Because sometimes, God sends a problem to be the solution of a future problem. Sometimes, God sends problem to make us stronger and more prepared for things to come. Remember, before we will think of events in our lives as a curse, let us first search for the blessings that goes with it. Truly, God works in mysterious but loving ways, dear friends. Today, I can always give my tribute to God for the wonderful events that happened to me, not only to make me physically strong, but also spiritually healthy. At this moment, let us listen to the song, My Tribute. While listening, ask yourself, dear friends, how can I say thanks to the things that God has done for me, for us? Yes. 
God deserves my tribute and generally all our tributes. When things are hazy and cannot be understood accurately, meditate and ask God for guidance. Remember even the most undesirable problems in this world that happens to us can in some way become a source of blessings in our lives. Yes, there are always blessings in curses. This is the focus of our 7 minutes with God today. Have a physically and spiritually healthy lifestyle, everyone. Wake up, wake up. It's time to rise and sing the praise of Jesus. Alleluia, alleluia. It's time to rise, to rise, to sing, to sing, to shout, to break. Wake up! Wake up!